Hello, students and fellow researchers. I am going to discuss research designs, focusing on longitudinal survey designs and their appropriate statistical analysis tools. Longitudinal survey designs are those that measure participants on two or more periods with the same instrument. The periodic data collection allows the researcher to find out if there is change and or development, or if there is stability or stagnation in the features of the participants across a span of time. Longitudinal designs include panel, trend, and cohort designs. These are the possible applicable statistical analysis tools for longitudinal survey designs. In the longitudinal sample survey design, in every data collection period, there is a cross-sectional set of data. Hence, in each of these sets, the statistical analysis tools for cross-sectional sample surveys may apply. I suggest you search in YouTube Research Designs Cross-Sectional Survey Design Edith Sebasi for the details of this matter. In the longitudinal design, the change observed is in the features or characteristics of the participants or the respondents. The statistical analysis tools used to measure change could be arithmetic mean, difference, standard deviation, variance, range, t-test of difference, and regression. There are three types of longitudinal sample survey designs, and we start with the panel design, which is one where data are collected at different points in time from the same set of participants called a panel. This is the plan for the panel design. For this kind of design, let us consider this example. Professor Baraculiano proposed to study Barangay Ascenso in terms of the residents' three-year characteristics indicated by number of trainings attended, income, number of children, and work residency. His proposal was approved and he proceeded to probability sampling and data collection. From his sampling frame, he randomly selected 10 participants and collected from them data for the same variables annually during the periods first week of June 2021, first week of June 2022, and first week of June 2023. The tabulated data are presented in the following Excel sheets. In each year after the data collection, Professor Baratoliano must describe his sample in terms of number of trainings attended, income, number of kids, and place of work residency, identify differences in the income and number of kids between those whose work residency is in the urban area and those in the rural area, and measure if there is an association between number of trainings attended and income. After every year, Professor Barracks must determine if there is a change, whether addition or reduction, 
or none in each and every variable measured. What statistical analysis tools does Professor Barax need for data analysis? Shown on the screen is the table of the possible statistical analysis tools for this panel design. We now discuss trend design. It is a design where a new sample is drawn at each measure measurement period to keep up with the changes that may have occurred in the general population. This is the plan for the trend design. This is our example for the trend design. We have the same given as in the panel design, but from his sampling frame, he randomly selected 10 participants for the first week of July 2021 data collection. Randomly selected 10 new participants for the first week of July 2022 data collection. And once again, randomly selected 10 new participants for the first week of July 2023 data collection. The tabulated data are presented in the following Excel sheets. In each year after data collection, Professor Baracoliano must describe his sample in terms of number of trainings attended, income, number of kids, and place of work residency. Identify differences in the income and number of kids between those whose work residency is in the urban area and those in the rural area and measure if there is an association between number of trainings, trainings attended and income. After every year, Professor Barak must determine if there is a change, whether addition or reduction or none, in each and every variable measured. What statistical analysis tools does Professor Barak need for the data analysis. The tables shown on the screen are the possible statistical analysis tools for this trend design. We now proceed to cohort design. It is a variant of trend design in which specific subpopulations or cohorts are studied as they change in due course. A cohort is a group of people that have a certain distinguishing attribute in common, such as being born in post-1971 or the so-called martial babies, graduating from college in 1986, after the EDSA revolution, or surviving the Typhon Reming year, survivors of Albay Reming. The same population is involved throughout the research, but a fresh sample is selected every time data are gathered. This is the plan for the cohort design. And this is now our example for our cohort design. The same data as in our panel and trend designs, but his sampling frame is the BSBA OMC first batch. 
And from the sampling frame, he randomly selected 10 participants for the 1st of May 2021 data collection. Randomly selected a new set of 10 participants for the 1st of May 2022 data collection. And once again, randomly selected a brand new set of 10 participants for the 1st of May 2023 data collection. The tabulated data are presented in the following Excel sheet. In each year after the data collection, Professor Baratuliano must describe his sample in terms of number of trainings attended, income, number of kids, and place of work residency. Identify differences in the income and number of kids between those whose work residency is in the urban area and those in the rural area and measure if there is an association between number of trainings attended and income. After every year, Professor Barracks must determine if there is a change, whether addition or reduction, or none at all, in each and every variable measured. What statistical analysis tools does Professor Barracks need for the data analysis? So again, in this table shown are the possible statistical analysis tools for this cohort design. Thank you for viewing and listening.